Hey guys, sorry, I was having some technical difficulties here. I'm trying to run all of this uh, this morning uh, by myself and trying to get it all set up. So um, there's been a little change in plans on where I'm going to be doing this live today because normally uh, I would be out in the craft shack doing this, but um, we got a bunch of snow, had a bunch of power outages, and uh, now it's too cold in there. So we just got the heat going again last night. Um, and for those of you that, that uh, know me and are on my page, we even singed my hair while we were doing that. It was so funny. But uh, anyway, so I've got everything here, and hopefully um, we won't have any more technical issues. So say hi and where you're calling from when you get a chance. And we may have some dogs in the background, and I apologize for that because it is live. I've got Ruger and Remy. Sounds like the neighbor dogs just started barking, so it is a possibility that there might be some chaos here in just a few minutes. Um, the cool thing about today's kit, which I think you guys are gonna absolutely love, this is one of my favorite stencils, by the way. It's a new winter elements. Um, it has the uh, wild and free, the bear, the moose, everything Alaskan on here, deer, um, the trees, and uh, the, acorn, or the pine cone. So what I'm gonna do is what you get in the kit is you get this flag banner, which is really, really nice. Just like this, nice canvas. The material is really great. You're going to get the sample black ink, squeegee, and the stencil. And the ester jute too, that you need to do the tassels. And I'm going to actually show you guys how to do tassels um, as well, for those of you that don't already know. Hi, Mary. Betty, Carol, where are you guys all watching from? Oh, Montana. How's the weather in Montana? I also have decided too, I'm gonna to show you guys a few extra things with the stencil because it is my favorite. Um, so we're gonna uh, show you a couple of other ways that you can use this. Um, you're gonna get your sample black ink, which there is a lot of ink in here, y'all. Um, you'll be able to do all these projects. Um, I have one of our little trays here, so I'm just going to get started and um, throw this out. Oh, roll tide! We got some Alabama folks on here. Let's see. Trim that a little bit. You'll see that you don't need much. A little goes a real long way with the ink. So I'm just going to put, put a little bit in my tray. Now, with, when you are um, using material too, you don't need to fudge your stencils um, like you would with uh, wood or doing it on the material or on the chalkboard surface. So because this is light fuzzing, you don't have to go ahead and do that. And you can see I've well-loved stencil here that I've used. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with a wild and free. Love this one. And I'm just going to do that on my first flag. Kind of get that centered down where I want it. Make sure I don't have any air bubbles in here. And I apologize, I'm on a glass table, so if it's moving, there you go. Just kind of think that looks kind of centered to me. I kind of eyeball things a lot, so. Take your, oof, that's a lot of ink right there. You don't need much. Go ahead and dip your squeegee in and then just push it through your stencil. <laughs> I'm glad you paused your Hallmark movie, Michelle, to watch. That was a good one. I was in a panic mode rushing around here. I couldn't get all my technical stuff to work properly this morning. So thanks for helping too. Okay. And so you see, you can still see the pattern of your stencil through that. I did one of these last night too. Put the, set that right there. Isn't that awesome? Now what I did last night when I was doing this is I kind of worked from end to end. 
um, but we're just going to go ahead and, and work through here. Next one I want to do is the trees, I think. Oops, let's see. My comments keep disappearing, so I have a hard time watching. Hi, Charla. So what are you guys up to today? I don't know if you can see behind me. I'm looking at my iPad, you can't tell, but it is snowing. We are expected to get another 16 inches again of snow. It's just crazy. Oh, and I forgot to mention, in the kit, too, for this Day 11 deal, and I apologize for this, you're going to get um, the gingham material, too. This. Which, um, I'll show you how to rip up, and we'll do little flags on here. Or you can do little bows. I mean, it's all up to you. Once you get this kit to your house, you can do what you want and um, make it as creative as you want. Change it up. I love these trees. Now, one of the things um, with our inks is you want to make sure and clean your stencils kind of um, when you use the inks pretty quickly. Whereas with the chalks, it's not as big of a deal, but um, make sure I don't have any ink on me. Here's our trees. Love it. The detail on, on this is just awesome. Let's see. We'll do pine cones next. We're going with the starting with the wild and free and going into the woods, and then we're going to get to the animals. I have a little bit of a method behind my madness here. And so you just keep lining this up. The snowflake patterns would make a great background. Another thing too that I was thinking about this last night with these um, banners, which is really nice, is you could dye them too, any color. I mean, for those of you that know how to dye fabric or whatever, um, you can dye these, um, change it up a little bit. I would like to have actually uh, tried experimenting, but I didn't have enough time on actually dyeing this fabric and doing some neat stuff with some other colors. But guess what? I got my order in, so it's going to happen. And you can see this just goes pretty quickly. And I'm just sticking my stencils right there. Let's see, next I'm gonna do bear, the bear. I love the bear. Now we do have another bear stencil, which is one of my faves too. Um, it's bigger, it's an eight and a half by 11. He's a popular seller up here as well. I did a Northern Lights, I did a live and did it, I called it the Northern Lights Bear. Used about 13 different colors. Yeah, these um, canvas banners are, uh, any of our canvas flags are all um, really versatile. You could dye them up. I've seen um, some of the gals, I think Jen had done a really cool project um, and had actually taken these I think dyed them and made them pockets on an apron or something. I mean, there's just a lot of different things you can do. And the gals in this group are pretty darn creative. I'm, surpri I'm actually surprised this is the cleanest I've ever been while crafting. Oh, one of the things too with inking, you, if you miss a spot, you want to like pull slowly. I forgot, Lisa had taught us this, um, to pull up slowly because if you do miss a spot, you can just, which I did right there, I want to fix that, um, set it right back down and you've got it taken care of. Let's see. I want to come four in with him again. One, two, three. So I'm going to go ahead and do another bear hair real quick on this side while I get this stencil out. And I'll show you guys my finished one here. It's hanging up. Um, I just, did, it's on my wine rack thing and lots of bottles of booze there. It looks bad. Didn't want any judging. I am so 
usually sparingly on this ink, but now, there you go. You guys are going to get to see me get messy now. Because I did get some on here. What is everybody doing today? Since um, you can see I'm here crafting and it's snowing, perfect for me. so cute. Love the bear. Okay. And let's do the moose. I'm kind of, if you see, I'm looking at the one I did the other day because I want to get the pattern down. Hi, Jean. Thank you for joining us today. You guys, this day 11 deal is awesome. Hi, Debbie. Yep, I am up here in Alaska. Thank you, Michelle. I forgot to tell everybody. Um, I'm in Chugiak, which is just outside of Anchorage. Um, and we got, we had a huge snowstorm last week and we're out of power. I was without a power one day from, uh, let's see, it went out at three in the morning and came back on, I wanna say it was 12.30 that afternoon. But the next day, the next day, the power was out uh, from 7 o'clock in the morning until 8 o'clock that night. It's crazy. But I have the best neighbors who happen to have a generator. So I went up to their place for dinner because I didn't have any power here at all. There's the moose. He's so cute. Love it. And then we'll do the deer. I'm just going to slide this down. So with ink, what you want to do too um, is let it sit. I like to let my cloth projects uh, set overnight and then I will heat set the next day or at least till they're dry. Now these banners dry actually pretty quickly so you can heat set probably in a couple of hours. You just want to use a piece of parchment paper and um, an iron or I have a Cricut heat press so uh, my Cricut heat press is really nice. It just takes 30 seconds on each um, flag there at 305. So just check your settings. And if you're using an iron, no steam. But yes, parchment paper in between for sure. You guys, this is really so cute. I love this banner. Be great. I don't have a fireplace, but how would uh, you guys use this banner to decorate? Or what are your thoughts or plans for this? Okay. So let me show you what we've got done so far if I don't mess it up here. Can you see that? We've got the wild and free, the trees, the pine cones. I just, this stencil I love. Now, go over here and get my last, last couple done. Whoops. Hi, Patty. Pine cones again. Ooh, yes, a window balance. Oh my God, that's a great idea. Thanks, Jane. I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna do that in my craft shack. That's where this finished one is gonna go. Cause I don't have a fireplace. I have like a, um, a gas, uh, it looks like a wood stove, you know, but it's um, natural gas. And it's like times like this around the holidays, I kind of miss having a fireplace because we used to always decorate the mantle and, um, you know, hang the stockings and all of that, and I just don't have that. Hey, Nikki, you're here. Nikki has become a good friend of mine on Facebook here and customer. She wants to come to Alaska. I keep telling her, come on. You can see, look at all that snow back there. been hoping to catch the northern lights this year. There's been a few nights that they've just been absolutely gorgeous, but 
time I've missed it. I've been sleeping, sleeping through it. Oh, something stuck in here. Let's see what is that. It's a piece of thread. That will affect everything. You guys are going to be pretty excited once I get this done. I'm going to show you um, how to, to ink a few other things. We're going to grab some different colors and stuff, though, from my stash. Give you some ideas of what else you can do with this stencil that I hope you guys are all ordering this kit. Because this kit is um, really good. I think $27.99, you get the stencil, the fabric, everything that you need to finish this project. But um, the great thing is is this stencil, you'll be able to use it for lots of different things. What did I do? Uh -oh. The next one I need fell on the floor. Making a mess here. And we're going to end it again with Wild and Free. I love this one. Uh, we're going to use this Wild and Free on something else here in just a minute. I'll grab a clean one though since I don't have time to clean all of these. This this one is a, one of my favorites in this pack. Okay. Let me stick these back on here temporarily on my backer sheet for cleaning because I will open up a new set you know I use this one like I said a lot on a lot of different um, items so I have several so we'll set this aside and just show you where we're at so far hopefully I don't mess this up but you get the idea what do you guys think Isn't that cute so I'm actually going to just lay this for right now behind this chair so that it can dry a little bit. Like I said, it won't take long. The nice thing about the this canvas uh, banner is it won't take long for it to dry. Now with that, you're going to get this great piece of gingham. So. Uh, What's nice about this material, you want to go ahead and make slits along the bottom if you're wanting to rip it like this. And so I was doing these all about every five blocks of the black material. So you just want to go ahead and do a snip. This is the fun part. This is why uh, crafting to me is so relaxing. Hi, Deanna. Yeah, it is. It's a really nice long banner, uh, Nikki. It's super cute. It would look really good, like I said, along the fireplace or like somebody else mentioned, and I'm going to so hang this in my craft shack, it's going to become added to the window balance. Because that is just a fabulous idea. So you can see I've got my little snips there. Oops. And you just go ahead. I love this. This is the fun part. I mean, this is well, you have a rough day at work. You come home, you can just rip you some fabric and be happy. That's what I love. Okay. Just get us a few of these and get all the little loose strings off. Hi, Grace. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous Sunday today. How many of you have been uh, keeping up with all the different creators and what uh, on on these uh, D or fifth, 12 days of deals? Gosh, I can't speak today. I think I need to have a sip of my coffee. Now, I'm going to set these aside 
and you will get um, jute or twine also included in the packet um, that you're going to get with this kit and it it'll be for making tassels now uh, we have the coolest tassel pool right here which what is really really nice about this is if you want a four and a half inch three and a half inch two and a half inch it tells you and you just wrap around there so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys and there's something else I love my Amazon, y'all. Love my twine thing here. Whoops. It even comes with um, scissors, too. Works really good. So I want to do, I, I want to do a four and a half um, inch tassel for this one. So. And what I like about this is I don't have to use my hands anymore because my hands would start out one width but kind of end up like this. So then you never, it was a pain. So this tool is really helpful. And I like to wrap around here like 20 times. that was wasn't that nice way faster than doing your hands and then you cut it the length too this four and a half that way you get your tassel length right there now take this is makes this so this tool so clever take your uh, twine your other piece there wrap it through what you just wrapped around it I don't know if you can all see that or not but now I have this extra piece. Now take this, push it all the way up to the top. So see, you've got that right up here. And go ahead and cut this right there. Throw my little extra stuff aside. Do you guys like doing tassels? Do, you, do we have some tassel um, people on here? I love the farm farm beads with the tassels. And then you just loosely kind of do that on there. Don't do it tight yet. And then sneak this off. Slide it right off. And then I turn it kind of around to hide it in here. Well, we can go ahead and tie it tight. Now, if I can find the right end, I messed myself up here, I think. There it is. Oops. Success. Whoops, maybe not. Maybe they get the wrong one. Go ahead and tie it. three. I like to do three knots to make sure that it's good and tight. to take it and do the wraparound part. Now I like to start it kind of one finger down and you're going to grab another piece, hold that loosely in your thumb there and just wrap it around as tight as you want so you've got that piece still there. I like my little tassel things to be kind of big and I'm going to go ahead and cut that this off. I can't wait to show you my done one. I don't know how we are on time. I think I'm the last creator today so we might be okay with time. So Vicki, I am in Alaska. So here, depending upon where you're at, I am uh, four hours behind those on the East Coast. This is kind of a typical winter day here. 
um, had a gray snowing. We're supposed to get another 16 inches. I don't know what the temperature is, but yesterday was minus four. You guys, when it gets below 30, I'm, I don't care who you are, it's cold. I, I just get tired of the cold. Okay, so now you can see we've got our tassel with our little thing, and because I had pulled the one and tied the wrong one, I the wrong thing there. So now that you've got that tied, you want to take the ends that are still looped and cut them. Oh, did I get through all of them? I did. So, and you want to trim these off as best as you can. Hey, Marsha. But I have another trick to this that I want to tell you guys about. So because jute, um, hemp, uh, yarn, all of those types of things are like a natural fiber for the most part, one of the coolest things that you want to do is get you a glass of water, fill it up, take your tassel, stick it in the water for about 20 minutes and um, let it absorb everything up because what it's gonna, it, this is how you're gonna get the perfect tassel, is that you then shape, shape it the way that you want, let it dry. These are ones I did last night, they're pretty much dry, and you can see they're soft. Um, I took a little comb and brushed, brushed them through, but the ends, you can get the ends nice and, and trim, and they just, it works out really good. So after 20 minutes, take them out, and um, just hang them, you know, with another piece of twine there on a, knob to dry or whatever you want to do, but that gives you the perfect tassel that looks like you bought it somewhere. So I've already done two to put with our, our piece. I did those last night and dried them, so they're ready. Kind of clean this mess up here. Hope you guys are enjoying this Arkansas. I guarantee you've got much better weather than I've got. I'm going to show you this finished banner that I hung up last night because we need to put the tassels on it. Let's see here. Oh. Bear with me. So you can see I've already tied my ripped fabric to in between, but what you can do, I mean, and you can get as creative as you want. I was thinking even some beads would be really cute, or you could do bows in between, you know, each one of these as well. Um, but then on the end, I'm gonna tie another um, one of these gingham strips on here too on the end before I put my tassel on. Uh, one thing, and see, I did these because I thought this was so cute. They look, I tied them kind of like a men's tie, like you would have a men's tie. And so you just take and loop your fabric, uh, wrap it around, and then, whoops, because I'm not, and then just uh, put it on there just like that, slip it through. And these, these, um, this has dried, and if I would have grabbed my Cricut heat press out of my office, I would show you guys how to heat set these. Just whip that through. Hi, Diane. Oh yes, on the tassels, soak them in water for 20 minutes and then let them dry naturally. Then comb them and brush them out um, and then trim them up and you just get like the perfect, looks like a store-bought tassel and they're soft. It really softens it out and it's just because the jute is that natural fiber. Oops, I might have to put another tassel on here that I was making last night. I didn't get to soak this one in the water so let me get this. Again, this kit, you guys, the quality, I can't tell you, it's, it's fabulous. These canvas um, banners.
centers are really, really nice. And like I said, you can dye them. Uh, if you are good at that, you can dye those. Change it up. Uh oh, see, I told you we were done. Then you just want to tie your tassel on here. And you could use ribbon. I think ribbon would be a great way. I am so sorry. Remy? But here's one of your tassels. That's what it looks like. So adding some beads on here, I think, would be great too. Remy, come here. Come here. We'll get her quiet here. So, what do you guys think of that Vienna? Oh, use parchment paper if I didn't already tell you in between your iron or your heat press when heat setting that. I just love that. And you're right. I mean, if, if I had curtains in here too, that would be really, really cute. Especially like in a cabin and stuff too. That's one that, which I happen to have, so. I'll be having to make another one of those for the cabin. But, you get ready. We're gonna do some other cool stuff. I um, got excited about this and the fact that they uh, had asked me to do this live and I was like, oh gosh, I'm excited. I can't wait to show people. I wanna do a few things. So we're gonna ink a coffee mug too. Um, I've got a couple here, blue and red. And I picked these up uh, from Walmart. <laughs> figured out why they're barking. Um, I think the neighbor kids are on their snow machine going up and down the street. So I will try and hurry up here because that's going to drive these dogs nuts, which is going to drive you guys nuts. Um, one of the things when I buy um, coffee mugs like this, the porcelain uh, from Walmart, Target, wherever, is I like to clean them off with alcohol first before stenciling on them. So let me just get that all nice and clean and we'll go ahead. I love this blue. Some other mugs that I've done, um, and I need to get an order in for them from Amazon, are the camp mugs, you know, like the speckled enamel mugs, because these stencils on those would be perfect. Hi, Melissa. Now, Wild and Free is definitely one that I'm going to want to do on the, on the mugs here. So I will just cut along my cut line. And this is where you are going to want to fuzz, fuzz, fuzz your um, stencil so that you don't stretch it because it will stick to these um, mugs like crazy. So, the tacky towel. And go ahead and fuzz here. Oh yeah, definitely those, that enamel wear, Vicki, inking and stenciling on those, it turns out really, really good. I, um, did a whole bunch of those uh, using our um, words, our winter words, and did a bunch of those and sold them at the vendor events here this past winter, and uh, those are really popular. Okay, so I'm gonna, start, I'm gonna do it a couple more times, actually. Because we're on a dark mug, we don't wanna obviously use black this time, right? So, we are going to let's see if I'm drinking on the other side. Because I want people to see this. So, you can see I'm just sticking this right on here, making sure. Let me move that up just a tad. 
And then, um, oh, with the mugs, what you do is you heat set them in the oven. So I didn't get a chance to tell you is that yet. Like, uh, thank you, Michelle. What you do is you go ahead and ink on these, and I let mine set for a few hours, actually overnight, because I'm usually never in a big hurry, is I let them sit on the mugs 24 hours, and then when I wake up the next day, I usually put them in the oven, and they, I let them warm up in the oven with the oven. So pop them in there at 350, and put them in there for an hour, and then turn the oven off, and I let them just cool in there. Again, this is the Winter Elements stencil, and I think I'm gonna use our cool, not, I don't wanna go white, white, but gray owl on the navy cut. So I'm just gonna take a little, you're gonna, the consistency of the ink, I love, I think I got this a little crooked actually, so let me mess with this, straighten it out. You can't have a crooked stencil. Working with round stuff, it, just take your time. Don't need to be in a in a rush. I'm gonna go wild and free. It's $27.99 for this kit, you guys. It's totally worth it. Because like I said, look at this. We made that really cool banner, and now, now we're gonna do a bunch of copy mugs. Right? Very versatile stencil. Got that all on there good. Make sure, again, no air bubbles. Feels good to me. Look at this. I'll show you. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but just getting, and you don't have to press really hard. That's the thing. You just want to give enough hand there that you're getting it through the screen and able to see. I almost made a mess. Uh, see the stencil through it. Just like that. And then with these, again, you don't want to pull off at an angle because you'll stretch your stencil. So just go to the side. Oh my god, you guys. Oh. Peel, reel, and is it peel? Reveal and squeal, I think is, look at that. Can you all see? I love it. So I'm gonna let set that one aside. How many of you guys love it? You can't, how can you not love it? Okay. Moose, I'm gonna do the moose. And I'm gonna do him in copper. The copper ink, I, or, um, ooh, or the black ink. Should I use the, the glittering copper or the um, glittering black ink on this red mug with the mix? Let's see what you guys think. Hi, Vicki. I need to turn the camera so sorry, you guys. See, I bought this coffee mug at Joanne's, and this is how I drink my coffee, right? It's, but they put... They did put it on the other side, and I don't normally do that. So one thing you can do is actually put this on both sides if you want. That way you help the left-handed and the right-handed coffee drinkers, or tea drinkers, whichever it is. Or you could even do two different stencils. You could do the wild and free on one side, and then the moose or the bear on the other side. Copper, yeah, Nikki, I'm with you. Let's do copper. I love me some copper. All of our glittering... Um, inks and chalks that uh, we came out with this year. You guys, if you don't have them, I really suggest that you get them because they've become my favorite colors. And you, can, they do have a three pack um, where you get the glittering black, the glittering copper, and the glittering rose gold. That rose gold is beautiful. In fact, I should have grabbed that one um, because that would have looked really nice on the red too. So should we do the moose, the bear, the deer, the trees, and the pine cone on the red mug. Let's see what you guys think. Let's create what you would like to see. Glitter black. Wendy, we, we're, we're going to do the glitter back on something else here in just a sec. 
thank you for that because I will take take um, your advice on that one. The moose. Diane was first with the moose. Let's do moose. Margie moose. You know what would be really cool? Oh my gosh! Is if I have a female moose who comes through our yard a lot. I actually haven't seen her. Um, in the last week or so, but uh, she brings her babies. That would be so cool if she would come walking through here. Darn it. You guys will get a taste of the real uh, Alaska big wildlife. Okay, so we've got the moose, stencil canvas. Fuzz this. Wait till you see this copper. If you guys haven't used it, I'm telling you, you want to order it, get it on there. And this stencil too, this is the best kit. Um, I'm sorry, I'm on my leg. Out of habit. here. Making sure too, because there are some ridges on this cup. I don't know if you can see this. So I'm just going to have to be really careful because I've got the tops of his antlers going in those ridges. So we'll see how So after this cup, I, I uh, want to show you another thing you can do using the inks and this stencil. I'm excited. I, I want to bake these coffee cups so bad now so that, okay. Get him on there, but you see when it's a rounded surface, sometimes it's kind of tough. So you just just go with it. Hi Jennifer. Okay, y'all. Here's that copper. And I know my lighting in here because of how bright it is outside is not the best, and I apologize for that. But this color is truly gorgeous. So you get you a little copper on there. Well, this would this copper on the blue would look really good too. I didn't smooth that that one leg out enough, you guys, so I might have a little problem, but we'll see. Just kind of hold. Hi, Joanne. Joanne, yeah, Joanne. Couldn't see if it was Joanne or Joanna. And you just wanna, I'm gonna go over it again here, just to make sure. So pretty and when this bakes the shimmer is is really good I know it's hard to tell on um, on the live but oops Dawn gosh darn it I'm gonna have to redo him because you see what I did I touched you don't want to do that I touched his leg and his leg came off because it's ink and it's not quite on there so I'll have to I'll fix him up 
so see I can wipe off his when it's before it's dry or baked on here you can kind of clean it up and I'll be able to line that stencil back up and um, line that stencil back up and put that back on there but I can do that later I want to show you something else that we can make how am I doing on time Yeah, Nikki, I think if a moose walked by, I think you would just be squealing like crazy, wouldn't you? Would that get you, would that get you up here fast? I have created a mess. And we're going to use the glittering um, black. Sorry, I had to get my hands there. So, baseball cap. We are going to do a baseball cap. Now this one with the blue, we're going to need a lighter color. So um, I was thinking wild and free on this one would be really good. But I have a khaki um, hat right here too. Pop this one. And this one I think would be so awesome with like, what do you think, the bear? The bear in black, in the glittering black. What do you guys think? Let's see. <laughs> yeah, you, do, you don't want to pet it. You don't want to pet it. Although, I've got to tell you, the girl moose that comes through here, she was born here. Um, her mom brought her here. Now she brings her babies here. They're not afraid of us at all. Um, in fact, and I can, I'll have to, anyone wants pictures of this, just let me know. Um, the mama moose left her babies here for me to babysit, literally for a couple of hours one time. And um, the dogs were going crazy, of course. The cutest thing. So she left them here, took off, must have done her little feeding or whatever, came back. They were the most adorable things. I've got pictures of them. They were passed out, sleeping. I mean, moose are cute. Baby moose are really cute because they have these long legs. I mean, they're just, at least they look really long. I got to grow into grow into them, but they're absolutely <laughs> adorable. I got some great pictures of that. But going forward, that one of those twins that was here now brings her babies here. So it, it's kind of cute. I've watched all of that. Yeah, Diane, Nikki, I am going to do the bio. So here's our bear stencil. Now, because again, we're back on fabric, I don't have to fuss, okay? Because I am on fabric. So I'm just gonna line up my bear here. And I'm just sticking it over my knee, sticking my knee in the cap to kind of get a good, this is the one thing about doing hats, is that obviously you need to have something, you know, stuck in here real good. Um, this might be a little difficult for me here, but we will get her done. I have a friend who does hats all the time. She is really good at these. And then Cricut has a heat press for hats. Of course, you can use an iron too. It's just not as, not as easy. Now, Michelle, if you're still on here, um, what do you do? What are your tips for ease of doing hats? I think we've just about got this. Having this coffee mug underneath it here has been very helpful. Of course, now I'm sitting here and I don't have my bare center. That's too bad. Okay, now he's on. New squeegee. Get this 
feet stuck down good here. Then I can get started. Now I am going over a seam too on this particular style. Oh my gosh, and you guys, I found the cutest hats uh, on Amazon. I got one that's got a cow print. I can't wait to do some of the farmhouse minis, ink some of the farmhouse minis on that. Okay, so I'm going to, and I know you can't see this, but here we go. I've got to hold my stencil down on here just a little bit too to make sure that it's good and because this hat had some form to it. Just want to make sure around all my edges that I'm stuck down really good. Holy crap. See, I got ink on the hat because I'm a messy crafter. Again, proof that you do not have to be perfect to have fun and make something pretty. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me here. Show the love. Hanging out with me on a Sunday, day 11. That seam is and to be fun, but that's okay. We're getting her done. And of course, I got ink all over with my thumb touching it. And then you'll just heat um, press this to or iron. Excuse my mess, but I did, I did get uh, ink on top of the hat too. But this, there you go. You've got your bear. Isn't that cute? I love that. And of course, I'm gonna have to clean this up. With uh, you can see my fingerprint on there from being a messy crafter. So those are just a couple of different things that you can do with this stencil. Um, as you can see, we we created coffee mugs. We've got our banner. In doing a hat, I think I tried a bowl. I agree with you. A bowl would fit nicely in there. If I'd have thought about that, I'd have done that. And then, of course, we did the kit. We did the kit, which had this, this nice banner here. We've got our tassels. I hope you guys got some good tips. Um, I think the tassel one is a really good one, putting that baby in water. But if you have any questions, just post a comment. Um, I'm going to try and get uh, respond to everybody's comment on there because I think it's very important to respond to everybody. But yes, here is one of our cups. We've got our moose, moose mug. I'll fix his little leg and then we get the bear hat, you guys. I love it. All three of those things right from this one stencil right here. There's so many different um, things you can do with it. Other ideas too, which I pulled out is a, uh, a great friend of mine from Alabama sent me a whole bunch of stuff a while back from Dollar Tree. So I have, you know, all of these cute little pot holders, which these stencils <clears throat> on this um, Winter Elements, by the way, too. Winter Elements, that's the name of this stencil. And you can get extras if you'd like, but uh, these fit perfectly on here. What great gifts. If you know somebody that has a cabin or um, anything like that, I mean, you can add to it right there. Do a bunch of little pot holders, oven mitts, something like that with the ink. But you can also use these with our chalk projects as well. So. That's the great thing about Magnolia is that everything is so versatile and you can use use things with just about anything you can think of. The more I do this, the more I find I go, oh, I can ink that, I can chalk that. I mean, my creativity has just grown so much over the past couple of years uh, since I've been inking and chalking with Magnolia. But hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, Kathleen, I love the hat too. And no, Mary, I don't think I need any more snow. Um, 
Oh, it looks like it stopped. We were supposed to get 16 more inches between today and tomorrow. So I am good with the amount of snow that we have. Uh, but, you know, more, more people would love it. The guys with the snow machines, skiers. Although if you're a cross country skier, this is a hell of a lot of snow, probably too much. But hope you guys had um, fun with me and thank you for joining. Uh, I think I might be the last creator today, but don't forget to come back tomorrow for day 12. Tomorrow's day 12. Um, and I'm not sure who is doing the day 12 presentation, but um, we appreciate all of you guys and hope you have a happy holidays. Um, take care and have a blessed day.